Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I decided to take up another challenge. As many of you are probably already familiar by now, I like to do these terrible weapon challenge videos where I will use the stationary tow missile turrets, I'll use knife only, repair tool only, I'll use a particular weapon with an atrocious combination of attachments, and then see if I can go on some kill streaks with it, see if I can do well with it. And last time, and pretty much since I started doing this video series, is you wanted me to try getting kills with the LVG for the assault class. And honestly, I've always been kind of reluctant to do this, not only because I I thought it would be challenging but because I didn't think it would be a very interesting video to watch because it would just be me kind of firing off these grenades on certain sections of the map and you wouldn't really see the kills and that from a video standpoint probably wouldn't be all that exciting and so I kind of for today was thinking well how can I make this enjoyable how can I make this fun to watch and so there are going to be moments where I do just kind of fire off randomly, when, I, especially when I was playing on the Close Quarter DLC. But then I would I switched on over to Caspian Border and larger maps, and then started to try to, try to like lob this thing like a grenade. And when I was able to get those kills, not only were they extremely satisfying, but it was also really cool to watch as well. So the way that this weapon works, as many of you are probably familiar if you played on Operation Metro, is that it tosses out a live grenade and and it detonates after a set period. So tactically, going into this, it was uh, it was interesting to try to approach scenarios because it has a set time period, and since it acts basically just like a grenade, it notifies the enemy. Like the enemy will have that audio cue where they will scream grenade, and then usually, if the player knows what they're doing, they run away, and so you don't you you may get a hit marker here and there. But more often than not, you don't get anything, and they just run off into a different direction. And so, the way that I had to kind of approach it to try to make this work, especially on larger maps, was I needed to get a, a distance away from the target, so that when I launched it towards them, it would detonate mid-air, or when it landed at their feet, because it does have this, this time period. And really, anything other than that was kind of a flip of the coin. It was, it was up to luck. Maybe the enemy was a little oblivious to the surroundings. They didn't see that nice bright orange flashing ball at the bottom of the screen. Or maybe they were in another room, they just are kind of sprinting down the map and then it, they randomly uh, explode to their grenade that just happened to be there at the right time. And while those were cool, they happened a lot, especially when I was playing on Zeba Towers, I got a lot of kills on that. But that was mainly because I was playing on a 64-man server, people were running all around all over the place, so more often than not, if I just fired this off at some sort of objective, I would get a kill, but it, it felt kind of cheap when I did that, so I kind of just opted to go for the more skillful route, and that's why I was playing a lot more on Caspian Borders and these more open maps, because I would get into these engagements where I knew they were off in the distance a little bit. Maybe I could see a camping sniper. I would, I, I mean, I did this for a couple hours and I still don't feel comfortable with it. I feel a lot more comfortable than I first started off, but I would still need to lob maybe one or two in the general direction. And if they're completely oblivious, if they're not a very good player, they'll still sit there making it really easy for me. And then I will finally get that final great lob off. It will explode directly at their feet or in in the air and I'll get the kill and it was amazing when those happened there were other times where they were on an objective and I would kind of get into that sweet spot where I knew it would explode at a certain distance and then I would just kind of lob a bunch at the objective and I would once again get a couple of kills but all honesty like the LVG is not a, a weapon that I don't see being all that useful on anything other than like the close quarter maps or those smaller maps like Operation Metro because while it's extremely satisfying to get kills with it on an open map like this and to be able to lob it I just feel like switching on over to the normal M320 would be just a much more viable and effective weapon you don't have to deal with these crazy bounces I mean sure it's still gonna require skill to line up those shots but it's it's nothing like the LVG and the LVG does have its place in some circumstances but I find that those circumstances are so few and far between that it's just it's just not viable and really all that useful to be running around with it. Uh, but in general, this this was not an easy challenge. You guys probably knew that this wasn't going to be a cakewalk. There were so many factors that kind of went into getting a kill, not only just 
a lot of luck involved, but then having to line everything up, predicting where the target was going to be, lining up the, the right arch so that when they finally reached their destination, it would explode at their feet. So many different factors that it was challenging in its own right, but the amount of luck that was also involved kind of made this a headache. Uh, but that is about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a setup that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comments section. Also, make sure to thumbs up the ones you would also like me to try. But until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.